If you have the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, you've probably spotted the Direct Monitor button on the front panel. But what does it do? And when should you use it? So let's dive in and demystify the Focusrite Direct Monitor button. But before I begin, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you get notified of all my latest videos. All right, so let's get started. So what exactly is the Focusrite Direct Monitor button and what does it do? Well, it allows you to toggle the routing of the audio input between three output settings, which are off, mono, and stereo. When the direct monitor button is set to off, you can only monitor the input audio in your headphones via the door on your computer. However, you may experience a delay in the audio due to latency settings. Latency is the delay that occurs when your audio signal is converted into digital and processed on your computer before being sent back to your headphones. Depending on the latency setting, this can result in the audio crackling and a delay being introduced. If you monitor yourself in headphones while speaking, the delay can make it very difficult to talk normally because you're hearing what you've just said. And this is where the direct monitor button can help. You can monitor your input audio directly from your interface. And because this signal doesn't have to be processed, sent to the door, returned to the interface, and then sent to the headphones, there's no appreciable delay. To turn on direct monitoring, press the button once to listen in mono, or twice for listening in stereo. And to turn it off, press the button one more time. Set to mono, you'll hear the audio as a mono signal in both left and right ears, regardless of whether you're using just one or both inputs. But when you set the button to stereo, you'll hear input one in your left ear and input two in your right ear. Now, you might be wondering when to use the direct monitor button and when to keep it off. Well, it's straightforward. If you're recording near your computer and monitor speakers, or if you don't want to hear yourself while recording, then keep it off. But if you need to or want to monitor your audio in real time and enjoy a high quality monitoring experience, then turn on direct monitoring. If you're close to your computer and speakers, use the big monitor dial to turn down the speakers and adjust your headphone level using the smaller dial above the quarter inch headphone output socket. You want to use mono direct monitoring when you want to hear the audio as a mono mix, when you don't need to differentiate between input one or input two. Typically, this will be when you're recording your own voice into one of the inputs. And it's also natural to hear your voice centered in your headphones. But if you choose stereo, your voice will be completely on the left or the right, depending which input your microphone is plugged into. This mode is ideal where you're using both inputs on the 2i2 interface, perhaps recording a podcast with you and a guest, or recording a vocal plus instrument. Because stereo direct monitoring separates the two inputs into left and right, if you've got a problem on one of the channels, then it's easier to tell which input is the one that's got the problems. So as a rule of thumb, use mono when you're recording with one input and use stereo when you're recording with two inputs. There you have it, the Focusrite Direct Monitor button on the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface explained. If you've got a USB microphone like the Blue Yeti, I've got a video that explains how you can connect it to a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. There should be a link up in the corner. Don't forget to like this video, leave us a comment, and share it with others who you think might find it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.